says they couldn't be. Uh, but I think you, you, one byproduct of judges being voted out in, in uh, response to a decision that I don't think has been talked about very much is the impact it would have on who would want to be a judge. You know, there's really, you take, uh, to, to do the public service that being a judge is, uh, generally people take a uh, pay cut to do it. They leave uh, a practice that they love. And being a lawyer is a great profession. And when judges are going to be uh, removed from office for doing their job, for following their oath, um, I don't know that as many people are going to want to make that sacrifice for public service and, uh, and put their name in. So, that's also a byproduct of, of uh, this kind of campaign. I think the, the more important uh, adverse consequence of it is what is the message it sends to city judges and how they ought to be making decisions. I mean, we don't want judges sitting down to rule on a case and think, hmm, I wonder how this might affect my next retention or I might have to raise money from these people for my next retention campaign. You know, we don't have that in Iowa. Other states do, and it's not a pretty picture. Have you heard, have you heard the, the case about the case Caburn versus Massey Coal Company? It, it's a, a prime example of what happens when politics are mixed with the courts. It arose in West Virginia. Mr. Caburn got a $50 million verdict against the coal company for the coal company's intentional interference with his business and, and fraud. $50 million judgment for Mr. Caburn against the coal company. The coal company appealed to the West Virginia Supreme Court. It just happened, it happened in West Virginia they elect judges in partisan elections, you know, two people running against each other. Just happened a judicial election was coming up. So the president of the coal company contributed, was it $3 million? $3 million to an organization that was supporting Brent Benjamin. He was an attorney who was running against a sitting member of the West Virginia Supreme Court. $3 million. The bulk of the money spent to, on Benjamin's campaign. And they were successful. Brent Benjamin was elected to the West Virginia Supreme Court. And he took his seat on the court just in time to hear the appeal in the coal company. Caperton versus Massey Coal Company. Now Caperton asked the judge, the justice, to recuse himself, saying, you can't be fair here. You should not sit on this case. But Justice Benjamin refused to take himself off the case. So the full five members of the West Virginia Supreme Court heard the appeal in Caperton versus Massey Coal Company, and they reversed the judgment in favor of Mr. Caperton on a vote of three to two. Mr. Caperton lost his verdict by one vote. And is there any doubt about how Justice Benjamin voted? He voted in favor of the coal company. That's not the, as terrible as that is, it at least has a good ending. It was appealed to the United States Supreme Court. The United States Supreme Court reversed the West Virginia Supreme Court. And they said a fundamental aspect of due process is a fair hearing before a fair tribunal. And Caperton did not get that in the West Virginia Supreme Court. That's a sad story. But that's what happens when politics and money come into the courts. Yes, sir.